Hello, boys and girls. I'm coming to you today from my house. This is Scarlett. This is Tinsley. My cat. My first kitten that I just got. Not that one. And this is Rex. Rex, say hello. Say hello. Hi. Oh, there's Scarlett. Okay. Oh, yes. She's very lovely. Yes. And um, I thought that, you know, we're all at home right now. So I thought I'd show you my living room. And I'm a big fan of The Wizard of Oz. So I have a few things here that say, it's not where you go, it's who you meet along the way. And then a lovely portrait with some original clippings from the movie. This house is 100 years old and so I have a beautiful stained glass and over here, oh, there's a picture of me and my children. Oh, and look, I see a Wizard of Oz pop-up book in the back. And there's the same. And there's the book we're going to read today. I brought it home. Are you guys ready to hear a story today? Oh, are you ready for a story today, Tinsley? She's ready. We're missing one animal. And that's who we're going to read the story about today. Okay. Hi. Oh. <laughs> I have lots of friends with me today. Does anybody have an animal that just won't stop licking you? This is Rex. This is Rex and he won't stop licking. He's nine years old. It's pretty old for a dog. And this is Scarlet. And it's her birthday next month. Oh, in a month and a half. She'll be one year old in May. Yes, she's my new puppy. Yes, does anybody have a puppy at home? How about cats? Anybody got cats? This cat really likes her new toy, but I think the puppy likes it too. Let's see if we can get her to come back in this, in the, the lens again. Oh, do you see how she's batting at it? Oh, are you gonna get it, Tinsley? Let's see if we can get her to jump across the screen. Go get it. She's thinking about it. Oh, there you go. You can get a good picture of her now. I've really liked having cats. Um, I think they're funny. Today, I have a story for you that makes me think of the animals in my life. This book is called Six Dinner Sid. Now, like I told you, there's an animal that's not home right now and his name is Colby. Maybe he'll show up while we're doing our story but I doubt it. He's orange and he's big and he's a cat and he is about a year and a half old and last year my family adopted him when he couldn't stay where he was living before. So we gave him a new home and he is a very loving boy, um, but he has something really interesting about him. He visits lots of the neighbors. Mm-hmm. Yep. He visits across the street and he has a name there that's not Colby. I think they call him Pumpkin. And then he goes next door and he visits there and they call him Creamsicle. And then he goes and visits on the corner. There's a retired couple who live there with no children and a three-legged dog. And he has a different name there. And he has treats and a special chair at that house. And who knows where else he visits. I have a feeling he has a wide following and lots of people feeding him. And when I discovered this about my, from my neighbors a few weeks ago, I thought of this book. I grew up reading this book, and I've read it to some of you preschoolers before. 
but I wanted to share it today because I think it's just a fun one. And the sun is out and it's really pretty. I got to go for a walk earlier today. Did any of you go outside and play yet today? I think it's been really nice to be able to play in my yard or spend time with my animals. And I'm learning to appreciate those things. So if you get a chance to play outside, it's always fun, right? Always fun. This book is called Six Dinner Sid by Inga Moore. Are you ready for it? Sid lived at number one Aristotle Street. Let's see, number one. He also lived at number two, number three, number four, number five, and number six. That's five more houses than most animals live at, right? Sid lived in six houses so that he could have six dinners. Each night he would slip out of number one where he might have had chicken into number two for fish. On to number three for lamb. Liver at number four Fish again at number five, ending at number six with beef and kidney stew. Looks like his belly gets bigger and bigger as he goes. Do you want to come up? Tinsley, kitty, kitty, kitty. Tinsley is sitting at my feet, but she doesn't want to be on camera right now. Since the neighbors did not talk to each other on Aristotle Street, they did not know what Sid was up to. They all believed the cat they fed was theirs and theirs alone. But Sid had to work hard for his dinners. It wasn't easy being six people's pet. He had six different names to remember and six different ways to behave. When he was being sacramouche, Sid put on his swanky airs. Swanky is another word for fancy. What do you do when you want to feel fancy? Yeah, sometimes when I want to feel fancy, maybe I'll put on a fancy dress or light some candles or play jazz music, like at snack time when we have a fancy snack, right? Yeah. Um, as Bob, he had a job. That looks like a mouse hole. That looks like maybe his job at that house is to catch mice. He was naughty as mischief. Do you know any naughty cats? And silly as Sally. As Sooty, he smooched. Ooh. But as Schwartz, he had to act rough and tough. That cat is chasing a dog. That is so funny to me. My cats chase my dog around all the time. All this work 
sometimes wore Sid out. Ooh, for sure. Hmm. But he did not care as long as he had his six dinners. And besides, he liked being scratched in six different places. Ooh, let's count those boxes. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. And sleeping in six different beds. One, two, three, four, five, six. In fact, life on Aristotle Street was just perfect for Sid. Until... I wonder what happens. One cold, damp day, he caught a nasty cough. Have you ever gotten sick before? I have. And I rested and drank my water and I got better. Just like you do, right? Yeah. The next thing he knew, he was being taken to the vet. Poor Sid. He was taken not once, the vet is a uh, short for veterinarian, which is an animal doctor and you guys know that. Okay, he got taken one time. Do you think he's gonna get taken only one time? How many places does he live again? Six places? Yeah, he lives in six places. So how many times do you think he'll get taken to the vet? Maybe six times. Not twice. But you were right, six times. He went with six different people in six different ways. Let's see, he went in a cat carrier. He went in a kennel. He went in a box on the back of a motorcycle. He went, let's see, what's that? Oh, in another box in a convertible. How did he get there here? He got carried in and in a basket. That's interesting. My audience is listening so well here at home. Tinsley is sitting on the couch watching me and Scarlett and Rex, the dogs, are sitting in the chair enjoying me, but maybe wondering who I'm talking to. <laughs> the vet said Sid's cough wasn't nearly as nasty as it sounded, but to be on the safe side, he should have a spoonful of medicine. Of course, Sid didn't just have one spoonful. How many did he have? He had six. Oh, six spoonfuls of medicine. I don't like the way medicine tastes normally, but I take it when I need to, just like you do, right? Let's count how many times he has to take his medicine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ugh, what does your yucky face look like? Ugh, gross. Now, one black cat does look much like another, but nobody, not even a busy veterinarian, could see the same cat six times without becoming suspicious. Sure enough, when he checked in his appointment book, the vet found that six cats with a cough, all living on Aristotle Street, so he called the owners at once. There's the vet and there's the owners. Oh, 
and oh dear, Sid was found out. When they discovered what they had been up to, Sid's owner said he had no business eating so many dinners. Oh my goodness. Sid looks like maybe he's in a little bit of trouble. What do you think they should do? Hmm. Do you think they should keep giving him six dinners? Or do you think they should only give him one dinner? Let's find out. They said in the future, they would make sure he had only one dinner a day. Dogs are barking. Do your dogs ever bark? I have the doors open today because it's so nice and sunny. Everything okay? We're good? Come on. Come on. Come finish the story with me. Okay. There we go. Do you like the book? Isn't that silly? Do you think that my dogs can read? I don't think they can read, but they do like to listen to my story. Okay, but Sid, he was a six dinner a day kind of cat. So, guess what he did? He went to live at number one Pythagoras place. He also went to live at number two, three, four, five, and six. No. And six. Oh, there's somebody walking by my house, and that's what he's barking at. It's okay. Oh, my goodness. Rats. Sorry, boys and girls. This is what happens when you work at home. There's new distractions, right, grown-ups? <laughs> Unlike Aristotle Street, the people who lived on Pythagoras Place talked to their neighbors. So right from the start, everyone knew that Sid had six dinners. Oh, look, they're all friends on that street. And because everybody knew, nobody minded. Interesting. Very interesting. I guess there's two different ways you could do it, right? Hmm. Thank you for joining me today with our story and meeting my animals. Well, three of them anyway. Um, once again, today we read Six Dinner Sid by Inga Moore. I really miss you and I hope you're doing well. And for children that aren't part of Children's Discovery Academy and are just missing their preschool programs and their teachers. I hope you have a wonderful day too. Thank you.